today I am taking you along as I get ready for my bridal shower. This has been such a joyful time of bridal celebrations and my bridal shower is definitely a memory I'll remember forever. So first things first, I use some Glossier face primer and then I just spritz my face with some of the Mario Badesco, I think that's how you say it, Badescu facial spray to just kind of liven and freshen up my face. After that, I am using the, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer to keep my pores nice and minimized. So after I just rub that in, it's time to apply my foundation and on this day, I used the Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation and I mixed it with my L'Oreal True Match. And for the Amazon Clay, the color I use is Tan Honey. And then I believe for the True Match, it's Warm Beige. So kind of just mix that up and then I've been applying my foundation with my hands and it's been working really well for me to just kind of make sure everything is blended in my face <laughs> well. Now it's time to apply my concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just put that under my eyes and then in the middle of my eyebrows and just any other spots where I feel like I could use a little concealing. Next, we're going to apply some powder and I'm just using this Cover F FX Luminescent Powder. And then I just pat it under my eyes with my beauty blender and then kind of use a brush to smooth it all out. Next, I'm going to apply my eyeshadow prizer. I just used this NYX one and it works really well. I've been using it for years and it's super cheap and it does the trick. Now it's time to apply that bronzer, give myself a nice little tan glow. So I'm going to make sure I concentrate under my cheekbones and apply that with a nice fluffy brush. And then I kind of just put it everywhere else because I love to look tan. Now I'm applying this MAC blush. I've had it for years and I just don't know the shade, but I'm sure you'll be able to find a perfect one at MAC. This has seriously lasted me so many years, which is so amazing. And I just love the pinky color of it. I think blush is my favorite makeup piece. Next, I'm going to add some highlighter. I'm just using this... Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop and I'm going to put it right above my cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose and kind of over my mouth a little bit to add that little sparkle. And then for my eyebrows, I'm using this Tarte Tease Palette. It's just like a little baby palette, but I use the brown shade to fill in my brows with a small angled brush. Then I use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to make sure everything stays in place on my brows. Now I'm just using this Nude Collection eyeshadow palette to just do a really natural eyeshadow look. I'm just using the light champagne colors in the corners of my eye and then using some darker colors around the edge. I also tend to use my bronzer a lot in the corners of my eyes. I just love the tan look of bronzer and I feel like it just adds a super natural crease line. Next, I'm using this Tarte Chrome Paint in Top Yacht just to add some more glitz and glam to my eyes. As you can tell, I just love shimmery eyeshadow. I mean, it is so pretty and I love this chrome pot. Now I'm taking this dark brown eyeliner pencil and just kind of applying some in the corners of my eyes I'm gonna do a tiny little wing eyeliner next I'm taking my elf liquid liner and going to kind of trace over that pencil and just apply a darker little wing then pretty much the last thing I need to do is just apply some mascara at my bottom lashes I am wearing eyelash extensions which I have been loving um, so now I just need to apply some mascara at the bottom and then the last thing, of course, are lips. So I'm just taking this, this lip liner to kind of trace my lips. And for the actual lipstick, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. And it is the Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick by The Balm. And it is in the shade Devoted, which is just such a cute name. And my other favorite shade of theirs in this line is Committed. 
so I wear those to a whole bunch. Now that our makeup is done, it's time to move on to hair. So today, just doing a super, super simple look, and I am applying my hair extensions, so I do wear hair extensions on special occasions. I'm thankful to have long hair already, but I love to kind of add some more volume, and my hair extensions are from Irresistible Me. And I use this big hair waft a lot more than just like all the other extensions. Um, so I'm just going to curl that and kind of blend it in with the rest of my hair. And I'm just using this one and a half inch curler from Conair and then my GHD hair straightener. Once I'm done curling my hair, I put in my little flower crown I made. I made this the night before and I just bought flowers from Trader Joe's and took some floral wire and floral tape and then just taped it all together. And this is my full look. It is a dress from ASOS, which I adore. And I will link it down below if it is still available. And then with my flower crown, I just felt like a magical fairy bride and I just had the best bridal shower and I'm so thankful for all the love and support of everyone surrounding me. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you super soon. I told you.